Hi, this is Monica, and this is actually my first video tutorial. Yay! Um, anyway, I am going to show you how I cut this uh, multi-decoration, actually, template, rhinestone and glitter heat transfer vinyl temple, template out using my Cricut Explore um, and Design Space, of course, but there are a couple of twists and turns to this and you have to use another uh, program to edit the file before you can take it into design space so to show you how to do that using um, shortcuts a lot I've also done it using Corel Draw um, but for this video we'll use shortcuts a lot um, you will need a Cricut machine I have an Explore not sure which others work with design space uh, you need design space. You'll need something like Shortcuts a Lot or Corel Draw. Um, this, the rhinestone portion of this design, uh, the stones are size SS10. That's Sam Sam one zero, um, and they are hot fix rhinestones. Those are the ones that are flat on the back with the adhesive on the back of them. So let's get started. Okay, as I said, you would have to cut the rhinestone, I'm sorry, um, edit the rhinestone template in a program like Shortcuts a lot. I'm using a free rhinestone template design download from the Rhinestone World. Um, it's their scattered heart design. So you bring it into Shortcuts by using the import button, um, import SVG button at the top. And I am doing this in voiceover mode, so my video is a little bit ahead of me. But at any rate, it's going to bring up three separate design objects. You don't need all three of those. So I go three and through and I delete what it is that I'm not going to use. And here I'm going to show you, well, what I'm trying to do here is, delete that portion of the design but I can't see everything that I want to see so I'm gonna to have to change the screen size <clears throat> so that you can see everything that I'm trying to get rid of um, when you bring it up in Corel draw instead of shortcuts a lot um, it's a little easier to see these uh, three separate sets of designs but initially they will be grouped so you have to ungroup them and then select and delete the portions that you do not want like that okay so now we have the portion that we do want we're going to select that select all of that and group it Okay, once you select and group it, um, take a look at the size of the object. Here it's 7.759 inches wide and 7.234 inches in height. You're now going to export it as an SVG so that you're able to upload it into Design Space. So I'm going to call it Scattered Heart 6. I do not uncheck the box. Um, for the design, design space compatibility. I don't know what would happen if you did. I don't do it. So, go into design space, go to upload the image. You're going to click upload image. I'm going to browse and find the image that you just saved from Shortcuts a lot. There she is. Click Save. And of course you're going to select that image and then insert it into your project. Now the fun begins. Okay, so it comes in 
as a group. Remember there are two different layers. There is that heart layer which is vinyl and then the rhinestone layer. Check the size to make sure it's at least compatible with what you had in Surecuts here. Um, when you compare the two, Design Space rounded the numbers and you can leave them like that. In this instance, it's close enough. Plus, if you actually try to change it, it's just going to round them again. And I haven't figured out how to get it around that. And it hasn't caused me any trouble in getting the design um, to cut appropriately. So I just, you know, I go with what Design Space gives me in that instance. But I'll show you here what happens when you try to change it. I lock it again afterwards because I don't know. I don't like leaving that lock unlocked. Okay, and you see it, it rounded it, it rounded those numbers again. So moving on with our designs, that heart section is going to be the section that's cut out in the glitter HTV. I like to change the color of that just so I can better see. Um, the layers that I'm working with so I'm going to change that to red but first you have to ungroup you have to ungroup it once you ungroup it and even before like if you were to look at it in the cut screen um, you would see that those uh, circles that are going to cut out the holes for the rhinestone template are not in the proper configuration so you want to ungroup it, um, change the color. I'm going to change the color of that heart to red. It doesn't matter what color you change it to. It's up to you, but I'm going to use red. And don't get too frustrated or try not to get too frustrated with design space. It moves a little slow when you're trying to do this um, you know that little button will pop up asking you if you want to recover the window and I just tell it no and just wait until design space catches up with what I'm doing once you cut this template you'll only you know you only have to cut it that once and then you can reuse it okay so we changed it to red change the heart to red which is the glitter vinyl level layer um, I want to hide that now so that I can work with the rhinestone. So I'm going to hide that red heart so that I can work with the rhinestones. And okay, Crick Design Space is catching up with me now. Okay, so now what we have are those circles. Um, and on this screen, they're in the proper configuration for the rhinestone template. But if you try to cut it, send it to the cutter uh, like this it's not going to um, be configured properly on the cut mat so you need to group those first and I'll show you what happens sorry I had to kick the dogs out of the room anyway I'll show you what happens if you actually send it to the cut screen without um, attaching see so they're grouped on the project screen, but when you send it to the cut mat, they're no longer grouped into the proper configuration. So you can go back to the project screen. And you're going to select all. It's the only thing we have here now is the rhinestone layer. Once you select all, and actually before you select all if you click on any one of those you know you'll get to like let's say for some reason one of the holes looks out of place to you or you've done your own design and brought it in and you don't like where that hole is gonna fall while it's ungrouped like this you can take it and move it around um, for this project we don't need to so we're gonna select all 
select all and it will eventually catch up to us and select all and then once it selects all we're going to um, attach that I keep saying group you're going to attach it if you just group it then you saw what happens when you send it to the cut screen you're going to attach it you can also weld it and I will do that when there you know is a lot going on and I can't really see what different layers I have in that layer section um, but this one's fine I can see the heart layer which I want to unhide at this point and I can see the attached rhinestone layer also if I try to weld it it will more than likely go even slower I know it will go slower okay so we've unhidden the heart now and the rhinestone layer is attached so now we want to go to the cut mat. It'll get there. There you go. Okay, you see the difference? It's attached instead of grouped, and so it on the cut mat is in proper configuration. So you're going to cut that like that. You're going to go to the heart layer or the glitter HTV layer and you're going to set that to mirror image. You are not going to mirror image the rhinestone template layer. See, so this one is just cut the way it is. You do not mirror image that. Then you tell it to go. Now you're ready to load your materials onto the mat. Um, I use a sticky flock this material was actually the silhouette template material which is you know it, it seems like sticky flock to me at any rate um, I used to cut it on the fabric setting I've now created my uh, custom setting for the rhinestone template and I'll show you that here in a second I believe the cut pressure is 210 and it's a double cut using the regular blade so I'm gonna set it to cut with my rhinestone template material and I'll show you in the custom settings also um, so you can verify that it's 210 at a double cut I'm pretty sure it is but I'll show you Okay, under Edit Custom Materials, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to find my rhinestone template material. And for rhinestone template material, my favorite is the um, Caesar, Easy, uh, Caesar Sticky Flock. It's about to say Easy Weave, it's Sticky Flock. Um, the silhouette template material is similar to it but it's cut in these like I think they're like 8 by 12 if they're even that wide um, sheets they come in handy and it works great for this project so um, it it works out as well but my favorite is the sticky flock and the rhinestone template setting I did is somewhere in here I promise it's here and I actually got that tip about the 210 cut pressure and the double cut from one of the members of the Let's Learn Cricut Explore group that I'm in. I can't remember her name now, but I really appreciate the tip because cutting the rhinestone template on this setting has made it way easier to weed. Um, you have to have a lot of patience to do this project. Okay, see? 210 and a double cut regular blade. Have to have a lot of patience doing this this way because it takes time to you know edit the file to bring it into design space then when you get into design space. Okay um, we're going back to the cut. Tell it to cut and it's gonna cut that out and here you go. This is what you end up with and I see that after this is it after I weeded it um, but 
as it's down on my little sticky flock surface I noticed that I did not weed out one of the little the little the, the little dots so I have to do that um, before I brush in the stones and it, you dump the stones on top of the design and use your your brush your rhinestone brush which is a paint pad to brush the stones lightly across the template and once all of the template holes are filled and all of the rhinestones are right side up um, you're ready to remove it sometimes you'll have to use tweezers to put one or two in place um, on this one I think I'll be fine with the rhinestone brush and then it will be once you're done you want to remove that design from that template material using the hot fix tape okay there's the hot fix tape being applied and once you remove it until you press it onto a garment um, store it on that white uh, backing sheet there's our red glitter heart and there's our finished scattered heart shirt